implemented, you know, retrieving all the widgets, retrieving the widget by ID. How about this one? It says uh, find widgets for a given topic. Right? So in this case, what we'd like to be able to do is something like, um, uh, presumably we have a topic ID in the database, right? We have this topic ID. So maybe you know some of some of the uh, some of the widgets might belong to topic ID one one one, whereas some of them might belong to two two two. Yes, and let's uh, apply that. There we go. So we have each one knowing what that what they belong. So so if I know the topic ID that you're passing me, right in the in the uh, five widgets for topic, you know what I'd like to be able to do is iterate over my all my all my records looking for the ones that are only one 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 or two two two, right? As the argument that pa is passed through here, make sense, right? Uh, but I don't have an array, uh, so let's. Uh, we, so what we like to be able to do is fetch this from the database, right? Now in a database, I, I like to be able to do something like uh, like this query. Yeah, you know, I'd like to be able to do something like um, let's see, you know, uh, this query. But then filter out what we need. So select the widgets uh, from yada 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 where right the topic ID is equal to one one one, right? And then we would execute that right there, and that only gives us A and B. Uh, or if it's two two two, right? Then that would return only only widget C. Yes. So we'd like to be able to do that same thing in the data in the uh, uh, from the client. So let's let's. From the uh, from JPA, so let's copy that. Let's head over to the um, to the code. So somehow we need to do this here, right? We want that query. No, notice that the repository can't really help us. If we if we do a if we, if we look at the functions here, there's no way for us to filter on something that is anything else other than the primary key, right? Any of the other fields we can't filter by. Yeah. So for that, we need to create our own query. All right, so to do that, we have, we're going to have to head over to the uh, to the repository. So let's go to repository. So in here, right? Notice that we're extending this CRUD repository, which has lots of really cool functions, right? Methods, but it does not allow us to do uh, custom queries. So to do custom queries, you you basically define the interface that you want, how you want to use it, and, and the way we want to use it is using this this uh, this same um, this same API right here, right? So let's declare that API, right? And declare it as an API, meaning we're not going to implement it. We're not actually going to implement. But what we'd like to be able to do is to run this query. Run this query. If we could somehow relate that function and that query, that'd be great, right? And that's exactly what JPA allows us to do, right? You can define your own query. Define a query. Now, this is a native uh, SQL query, right? Meaning it's a little string that we want JP, uh, JPA to execute. We don't want JPA to interpret this or generate this uh, for us, right? Uh, notice that all the other queries, JPA has been generating that for, for, for us from a template, family of template that it has. Here, we don't want to do that. We want to use literally this string, right? So, so to do this, we need to say that this is a native query, true, right? And then we can tell it what the qu actual query is. So the query is going to be select star from. We don't need to. We don't need to provide the name of the database. It's already configured in the uh, URL, so we don't need to establish that. But we do need to say that the table. So it's widgets where topic ID is equal to some placeholder, TID, right? So because topic ID sometimes will be 111, sometimes it will be 222, we need to be able to parameterize that, right? So that's how you parameterize it, by putting a placeholder with a colon in front of it. See that, right? Uh, so, so the next thing we need to do is that somehow this, this, this TID placeholder needs to be mapped to this parameter that's coming through the function, yes? And the way we, we map this TID to this string is we use another annotation. We say param, right? This is this is a parameter. These are these are called parameters, right? And we can say that this this string topic ID we're going to map it to the parameter called TID that is on the placeholder of this string. Make sense? Right, once we have that, we can head back to the service and say, and we say dot. 
And I notice that now we not only have the boilerplate functions like find all, find by ID, we have all those boilerplate functions, but now we have the one that we defined. Right, there it is. Right, that's the one we we implemented. Right, we can say, yeah, that's the one I want to use. Right, and I'm going to pass you the topic ID. It's going to execute the query. Right, and then it's going to map the the rows that come back. It's going to instantiate widget instances for us. And it's going to put it in, in a nice little list of widgets. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's run this. Uh, looks like we have some error uh, in the service. Uh, I don't see blah blah blah. This oh, let's return. This needs to read a return. There we go. So let's restart the server. All right. So so this this find which by ID, uh, we exposed it in the controller. Uh, right here, find widgets for topic. Right. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, widgets for topic. Widgets for topic. Which is this is the URL, right? So let's copy that, right? So that we can go to the to the browser here and paste it, right? And we can say either one one one, and it gives us A and B, or, right? If we have instead two two two, right? It gives us just C. Make sense? All right. So so there we got we can implement we can use the uh, the queries that are uh, out of uh, out of the box, right? The the, the default ones. Or we can implement our own. Okay.